Spores, sulfur, farming and epic monuments is what the desert biome is all about. From where to build, what to wear and the dangers to look out for, I've got you covered. Hey guys, Jafar here and let's get started. The temperature your player experiences depends on the time, clothing and wetness. Based on a naked player, the temperature ranges between 34.5 degrees during the day and negative 7 degrees at night, with your character stun that take damage under 0 degrees. The hottest I've been able to get is 58 degrees, and even at this temperature you don't lose health. The only penalty I have observed is losing water at a faster rate. Here we can see how many seconds it takes to lose one water when running around during the day. Being 100% wet reduces our temperature to 2 degrees during the day and negative 40 degrees at night. During the day, the heat of the sun will rapidly remove our wetness. However, during the night, if we need to warm up or reduce our wetness indicator, we can stand on a campfire to speed up the process. This will burn you but quickly remove the wetness indicator. Also, it appears heaters cool you down. If we turn on a heater when fully clothed and standing next to a campfire, it will cool us down and actually give us 50% comfort. I have no idea how this works, but I guess if you want to stay at a temperate temperature in your house, use heaters. 17 cold protection is the minimum amount required to not take damage in the desert nights, while 13 cold protection is the max amount of cold protection we can have before being too hot during the day. So we'll try to find a nice balance. Here's a look at 5 tiers of clothing I would recommend depending on your resources and needs. The PVP kit and hazmat are only recommended for daytime, as it will be in the sub-zeros during the night causing you to take damage. As the desert is less harsh compared to the snow and cold protection requirements, we can focus more on projectile protection. With them stacked up like this you can get a better idea of what you might prefer. The desert biome contains plenty of metal, sulfur and stone nodes but doesn't seem as populated as the snow biome. It's said that the desert biome spawns more sulfur and metal ores. When flying around it's hard to disagree. So if you're unable to find enough sulfur ores, maybe give the desert a try and see if it's true. The cacti littering the landscape yield both food and cloth. There are 7 sizes including the smaller shrubs up to a larger cactus. The food is similar to a forest mushroom but yields more hydration compared to calories. Rivers are also likely to spawn in the desert biome, providing you with a well for pumpkin and corn plants. Expect to see a large number of pigs and wolves roaming the desert land. Make sure to bring a building plan and some wood so you can build a foundation to escape the animals. This can be a good thing as we'll have a large source of meat and animal fat. The desert biome can randomly spawn a variety of monuments, from low to high tier. However, two monuments that always spawn in the desert are the large excavator and the abandoned military base. The large excavator is popular among larger groups as it yields the most resources compared to other monuments. The abandoned military base offers the MLRS, which allows players to launch rockets at any base within the server. I have dedicated guides for both monuments if you're interested in learning more. When it comes to building, there are a few main locations to choose from. Desert Plains offer a large open space to build a compound or village. The rock formations allow you to hide away your base and use the rock as a free wall. Caves offer increased stealth and safety but they're also highly sought after by other players. Shallow Lakes also offer a large open space and allow you to easily hear if players are coming up. The Excavator Monument is a popular location to build at so you can count or use it for your own benefit. Finally, building on or around rivers allows for a fresh food and water source. This can be great if you plan on growing crops. No need for heaters or cooling methods as the seeds remain at 100% temperature conditions both day and night. This makes it a great biome to grow crops as all you'll need to worry about is light, water and fertilizer. The desert biome is home to many larger clam bases due to its excellent farming conditions, abundant sulfur spawns and flat terrain. It's more accessible than the arctic biome, so you'll not only find high gear players but also fresh spawns and those with primitive gear. If you're looking for a change from the forest biome and want a more convenient experience than the snow, the desert is a great choice. And that's it. 
Thanks guys for watching and I hope to see you in the next one.